Okay, so in my previous video, which I'll link to up here, I talked about how you can get massive opportunities on YouTube with your first 10 quality videos on this platform. Today, I wanna to share with you exactly what those 10 videos should be that you should create if you are just starting out on YouTube and you wanna quickly grow and build your target audience. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first three videos that I want you to think about making on your channel are called trendy or popular video topics. Now, these videos I want you to make because they're gonna get you the fastest growth for your specific target audience. Now, having your target audience in mind is crucial before you start to think about trendy topics, okay? So, the reason I want you to make three trendy popular videos are because they're going to help with the YouTube algorithm suggesting your videos on both the home page as well as the suggested sidebar. So, here's how you make trendy video topics. Okay, so to get trendy topics and to get ideas of what is trending right now on YouTube, you wanna go to the YouTube search bar and type in whatever your topic is. Let's say you're making videos about cars or fitness or cooking, whatever your topic is, type that in and then filter by this year. Now, the videos that come up, what you're looking for in those videos are a greater view to subscriber ratio. So you wanna find videos that have more views than that channel has subscribers because that's gonna show you that all the views are coming because the topic is trendy, not because the creator has more subscribers. So you are going to do a bit of research and find a few video topics that you can talk about. And then the other big a uh, caveat in this is that you want to make sure that the audience that is commenting on those videos is the kind of audience that you would love to attract for your YouTube channel. Okay, so now the next three videos that you're going to be planning out for your channel are the ones that I call deep topic expertise. Now, these three videos are going to go deeper into whatever your topic is, whatever your niche is. And the reason for making these three videos is going to be so that you can develop expertise in that topic, show that you have expertise in that topic, but also more importantly, these videos are going to help you rank on YouTube and Google search because we are going to use long tail keywords. So what are long tail keywords? Long tail keywords are words or phrases that you wanna add to your focus keyword to make it longer, more descriptive. Now put up some samples and examples on the screen of how that works, but I also want to um, point you to another video that I've made on how to do keyword research. So I'll put that down in the description below and you can go and check that out if you wanna make sure that your video titles are showing deep expertise with long tail keywords because that is then going to help you rank in search. So after implementing these three clusters so far that I've talked about, you are gonna be suggested by YouTube on the algorithm, and you're also going to be start to show up on search, which is going to take care of massive amounts of attracting the first few views of your target audience to your new channel. So you're gonna be off to a great start. Now, before I go on to the next four videos that you should be making, I just wanna remind you that this entire channel plan and strategy that I'm talking about in this video, you can get for free as a PDF download inside the YouTube Playbook. So the YouTube Playbook is 22 pages of planning out your entire YouTube channel um, as a beginner so that you have all of these fundamental pieces in place. So I'll put a link to the YouTube Playbook down in the description below. Be sure to grab it after watching this video. The next three videos I want you to make as part of your 10 quality videos are product-driven videos. Now, these videos uh, could be software products, they could be hardware products, but it's important to talk about the tools of your trade, the products that you use in your work, the tools that you recommend, the software that you use already in your work. So make a list of that and then make a few videos. They could be direct product videos, they could be comparison videos, and you wanna be talking about why you use those products. Now, the reason I want you to make these videos is, first of all, this is gonna blow up your AdSense revenue and if you're monetized, you're gonna start seeing the results immediately, but even if you're not monetized, the results are gonna come once you're monetized, right? So that's point number, uh, benefit number one. But the second most important reason why I want you to make these videos is because then you can start to monetize your channel with affiliate commissions and brand deals. 
Now you can get affiliate commissions on products that you're already using and recommending, right? Because you can become an affiliate for the products that you already love and use. And that is instant money from your YouTube channel within your first 10 videos. And brands are gonna love product videos because when brands are looking for creators to partner with, they wanna see that you can talk about products because that's what they want you to talk about on for, for their products, right? So these videos are going to help you grow your channel and get money from affiliates and from brand deals. And the final video that I want you to make is your channel trailer, which is a simple introduction video whereby you're gonna introduce yourself, but don't make it very long or complicated or all about yourself. You are gonna introduce yourself, but you're also gonna say what this channel offers and who it's for, right? So your channel trailer or your introduction video needs to be benefit driven. It needs to be, hey, I do this, and here's how you're gonna benefit from it. And keep it under two minutes. That is your channel trailer and that rounds off your 10 videos now I want you as you start making these 10 videos you are going to face a few challenges so I want you to go and watch this video next on the top challenges that a beginner YouTube creator faces and how to overcome them I will see you in the next one